I govern myself, Bellington. I do not seek slaves, nor do I seek the glory of war. If it's something like this, where it's 1620, you've kind of got to get yourself immersed into the era to start with. I did a lot of research on the pilgrims themselves, who they were, where they'd come from, and what they were running away from, and why they were so desperate to come over here and start this enormous adventure. the construction of the village, we took a lot of reference photos and a lot of sort of reference material, um, you know, whatever we could find, whether it be paintings or anything like that, to kind of see how they were built. And we took a lot of that research and said, okay, right, so we need to have these kinds of clapboards and this is the kind of, this is how they would chop them up and this is how they laid them onto the structures that they then built. I think that the sets are breathtaking too. Um, there's been so much work has gone into all of that and so much research. There's a lot of informing that happens when you get on a great set. You can get down to who this person is in the role and how they fit in with the other people and how they interact and that's that's a huge opportunity. Walking onto the set in the Pilgrim's Village we also get that sense of everything squared and, and um, linear based but everything within the native world is all round and circular. So there was a sense again of within our own spaces, we walk a different way than when we walk in into the pilgrim town. What I've got behind me is a deserted Norset village. And what we've basically done now is we've dressed uh, two sets of graves. In the graves, we've actually got um, skeletons. And each skeleton had a specific bundle that had um, their kind of personal possessions. And so a smoking pipe, maybe some arrowheads if it was a male, uh, maybe some wampum beads if it was a female. If you look behind you quickly, there's an amazing skull we're going to use on set just now. Designing Native American villages is also a massive learning curve. What we've got is a much more pared down, much more basic, much more organic looking tribe. I'm really impressed by how they built their villages and they had their wetus and their longhouses and how massive they were and how beautiful they were. And there's something to be said when you walk onto set and you see these, this great longhouse and this great village that, that has been erected and there's such great care that you can't help but fall into the story. It informs the way you think, what would it be like to wake up in this camp? It's very important to be accurate and authentic to the period and to their own plight. You know, we're, we're, we're building a village that's all made out of the same kind of timbers and we're using old techniques and all of that. So it's very good to have the ability to build for real.